a self-styled Libyan army slowed down its push on the country's capital over concerns for civilians caught up in the violence, as the United Nations Refugee Agency said on Monday that the fighting for Tripoli has displaced more than 32,000 people. Fighting erupted on April 5, pitting the self-styled Libyan National Army, led by Commander Khalifa Haftar and aligned with a rival government in the east, against militias affiliated with Tripoli's UN-supported government. The clashes threatened to ignite a new civil war in Libya on the scale of the 2011 uprising that toppled and killed longtime dictator Muammar Gaddafi. Story continues below advertisement The UN envoy for Libya, Ghassan Salami, said on Monday divisions that prevail in the international community over the Libyan problem are impeding efforts to impose a ceasefire. He spoke at a news conference following a meeting in Tunisia with the country's Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Hafter has received aid from the United Arab Emirates, Egypt, Russia, and France. On Friday, U.S. President Donald Trump spoke with the Libyan commander by phone. A White House statement said the two discussed a shared vision for Libya's transition to a stable, democratic political system. The death toll from this month's fighting climbed to 254, including combatants and civilians, the World Health Organization said on Sunday. At least 34 more people died in the past two days, WHO said, 1,228 were wounded. Since launching his push, which many see as a power grab for Tripoli, Mr. Hafter's forces have captured the districts of Garion and Kaiser Bani Gusher, along with several smaller towns. They also seized the capital's shuttered old airport. Fighting is now underway for control of Ain Zara and Al Aziz Aiyah two larger towns near Tripoli, and in the Abu Salim district, about 7 kilometers from Tripoli's center. Abdelati Lahoao, the top diplomat for the East-based government, told the Associated Press in Tunis on Sunday that Mr. Hafter's push was slowed down because of concerns for civilians in the greater Tripoli area, estimated to number about 3 million. Story continues below advertisement If the civilians had not been taken into account, the battle would not have lasted even a week, he said. The army is today 20 kilometers from Tripoli, it controls the old airport and the bridge that connects the airport to the city center, Mr. Lahoal said. He also lauded Mr. Trump's call to Mr. After last week expressing U.S. support for the Libyan commander's perceived stance against terrorism and Mr. Hafter's role in securing Libya's oil resources, Mr. Trump's phone call was a step in the right direction. Mr. Lahoal said. Since Mr. Gaddafi's ouster, Libya has slid into chaos, governed by rival authorities in the east and in Tripoli, each backed by various militias and armed groups fighting over resources and territory. Mr. Hafter has led previous campaigns against Islamic militants and other rivals in Egypt.